Kevin made a ball in the break since the one here. Kevin really shot on the one, actually. A two, three, four. This is a really nice wide open rack. It's getting the proper angle here on the two to get to the three. The can't tell if it passes the seven. It does not look like it passes the four. Just past the seven, it's the uh, shot that he was setting up for. Either that or he's going to be banking the three up table and playing and play the cue ball in um, behind the seven. But I think it goes. Well, that's exactly what I thought he would have ended up rolling a little bit better than. <coughs> Got a little extra love out of it. anything is tough. It's got to come off of the end rail, the side rail with a lot of spin and maybe even come in behind the three off of the third rail is probably his best bet at hitting it. Oh, he tried to straighten it up, I think, and come at the three. That was a big ask. That was a, Kevin had him in a super tough spot and with ball in hand, I think Kevin is the favorite to run out here. He wants to come to the, uh, you want to come below the four because of the the nine ball um, can give you some issues with playing shape. There you go, and that just can play whatever side of it you want there, that, but just take that nine ball out of play. You're going to go forward two rails out of the corner. And... He's got the angle here. He's probably going to go to the end rail and back up at the uh, seven ball with a little bit of left hand English to straighten it up some, to make working it. And he could even come two rail. Oh, yeah, he, he decided to draw two rails out and he's missed it bad and left Tony. Nice little out here. Shot. Yeah. Oh, this first game's a little bit of a struggle for both players. <laughs> uh, I mean, this is even hard to play safe on or anything. It's just a really funny angle. I'll show you what it looks like here. That's tough to, you gotta thin off of it and send the cue ball around. And Kevin's right-handed, so um, he's gonna need a bridge for this. I'm gonna just catch, I mean, literally the th thin, the nine, and because you're hitting it so easy, the cue ball is gonna maintain, mo or so thin the cue ball maintains most of the speed. So you don't have to hit it 100 miles an hour. You just gotta, you know, get it a few feet down table, and it's a tough shot. But it's the, the thinness of the hit. It, there you go. So the cue ball keeps all of that speed. Uh, he would have had to get really unlucky to come back and scratch. And Tony, being, you know, being that we're playing on this table, a little unlucky because on any other table in the room, that cue ball falls. <coughs> oh, sorry, had you uh, on the wrong view. There you go. You can see where Kevin left the cue ball now.
they always go on the side. I don't know how it didn't go on the side. I think it's the first game. A little bit of back and forth, back and forth. You're not going to see a whole lot of that out of these two guys. It, uh, <coughs> balls weren't wanting to cooperate. <coughs> Tony's big guy, he's got a big break. <clears throat> he will find darkness. Kojak in the subway. <clears throat> Ball in hand here. Uh, biggest problem for Kevin is this 3-7 this combination. It's not that difficult. It's uh, getting the proper angle so that you can get a shot on the three after you make the seven, but even that because of the, uh, how close the seven is to the pocket, you know, you hopefully the cue ball ends up right down there, but things can get funny with combinations. He'd like to be straight in on it. Uh, he tried to pull that ball over and it didn't move. I ended up just hitting the stop shot instead of a draw. Now he's got to let the cue ball go back and forth. Well. He will on the shot. A little bit of left hand English to help work it back down the table towards uh, the four ball is hanging in the corner pocket over there. You just got to get past the nine. You want it off the rail. And then you can come one rail with like center right back at the five ball at this. He'd like to get high of the nine here and he didn't. Uh, he's right in his way, jacked up. So this means you gotta cut the ball a little bit more when you're jacked up. It favors the hitting the ball fat as it squirts the cue ball a little bit. And Kevin handled that quite nicely. A couple rails to the center of the table and a little bit past for the eight ball in the upper right hand corner pocket. I don't want to be straight. Probably be almost the same shot here except he's not going to come all the way down table. It'll be two rails for the nine ball in the side pocket. Nice shot, nice out. goes Kevin's break. Kevin has a pretty controlled break. He's drawing the cue ball. He'd prefer to just stop in the center of the table, but when you're playing um, ball into the corner pocket, you're chasing the one ball down table so that you're drawing it. This is going to be a center ball shot, and he's just going to shoot the one past the three. Make sure that you're not making it in the side pocket. And I guess even that would be okay because of the position of the two there. But when you're playing safe on those balls, you got to know exactly where that object ball is going to, not just holding the cue ball behind it. Because if it goes in the hole and you're you're buried, you're in trouble. So know where your object ball is going to. And then 
Tony is not hit. If he's lined up this one nine, Kevin, Kevin's going to be shooting this one nine. That's pretty straight in, straightforward combination. Even though the table is pretty open, I think you're going to see him shoot this combination. It, it's open, but you still have to run one, two, three, four, five, six, eight balls. And that's three nothing. Tony's break. <laughs> this is a um, monthly tournament we do here at the Fallen Timbers. Um, just started it up again last month because players asked for it. Nice to see some of them coming in from out of town that have asked for it. Um, Hope to see more of you throughout the winter. We're also doing a um, it's a lower level B player eight ball tournament, the third Saturday of the month, and that is anybody with a Fargo rate of 525 and below is eligible to play. And if you don't have a Fargo rate, um, we can ask around, find out about you. We may let you play one tournament, but uh, if you're way above where you say you are, it'll be the last one. Anyway, Kevin's got a nice shot on the one, follow forward for the deuce down on table. I'd like it to bounce off the rail a little bit because it takes the nine ball out of play. Just go to the side rail and out for the three in the side pocket. The four is the ball over here by the right lower right hand corner, or right hand rail. And he's come up short here. You don't want to shoot the three in the corner because you put the five seven into play. He has to play it into the side pocket and draw it off of the three to go between the eight six. It looks like he's playing it in the corner. I don't like this. So much can go wrong. But he's at the table and I'm not. He's able to slide off of it nicely and control that hitting it. That was nice. And now he's got a really... you got to hit this ball real good to get on the five. If he puts it in, can he shoot the five from over there at that side rail? I mean, that ball only has to go a foot and a half. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're gonna, if Kevin can see the lower side of this five ball, he's gonna hit the low, the, just looked at kicking at it, but I think he might hit the lower side of it then off of the far right hand side of the five ball and put the cue ball over behind the nine. Actually, I don't think that angle's there to get in behind the nine. <laughs> now just might be available to Tony now, though. And when you're doing this, you want to hit that third rail and come into the back of the nine. The second rail is easier to push past it, and you want to come into it. And, you know, always come in, use that extra rail, two rails, three rails, or something. Makes your object ball bigger, or the ball you're hiding behind bigger. If Kevin can see this to cut it up in the corner. Yep. 
I think you could. I think you just missed it just barely. Or he you know, might have been all he could see of it and he tried to throw it in a little bit and... Mm. A couple rails around this eight towards the center of the table. Tony was getting, still trying to get the speed of this table. Kevin had, you know, last game was a short game, and then the rack before that, Kevin ran out, so. He's still working on the speed of this table. this to the side rail. Back out, same corner. Uh, hit hard enough to go the other side. And she just draw it back a few inches. Six, eight inches for the nine ball straight in the hole. Oh, he went to the side. Elected to go to the side rail and back out for it. He wanted to stroke it. clicks player. Alright, what else we got going on? Well, Trent Stilson is still in. He's uh, going to be waiting for a little bit for matches to finish. Um, he was defeated by uh, Cade Coates here on the live stream last match. If you happen to miss it, you can uh, rewind. Oh no, that wasn't last match. It was a match before, but that's okay. Because uh, we have DVR feature with our live stream. You can rewind it up to four hours. We started this, uh, so you can go back and watch every match we've streamed so far today. We started it somewhere about 12.30, 1 o'clock this afternoon, Eastern Time. can pause it if you need to, you know, get up, go to the bathroom, take care of the kids, whatever. But yeah, if you've missed anything this morning, this afternoon, depending on where you're located in the world. Kevin's going to have to play the combination here on the five. That's where's the cue ball going when it contacts the nine. And if you play the nine here, you go all out for the nine. Uh, it, you don't play the three, you go all out for the nine. to play the billiard and I think he thought the 8-3 were going to be maybe a little bit reversed here after he was done. And he can bank this ball and go out forward or he can, he's going to bank it a couple rails down table. Try and use the 9 as a blocker. And he does have him jacked up over the six ball and the six. Tony can't see this ball to cut it in, but it's a really tough shot.
gonna have to draw this back under between that nine eight or if you oh you can suck it straight back at him that's a nice shot you'd like it to bounce a little bit oh wow that is uh straighter than straight off of the seven so the cue ball could go forward and the seven ends up just about freezing the end rail and he's over hit this he's gonna let Tony see it maybe it's really close and Tony might be able to see this ball uh, he's looking at kicking I think ball for somebody. Then cue ball all the way down table. Uh, you didn't want to let him see it though. Tony can bank the seven out of here maybe and put the cue ball in behind the uh, behind the eight ball. I think it came out. It's a touch shot. And, uh, Kevin may have a shot into the side pocket here. May he didn't walk to the table with his jump cue, so I think it is. Mm. Cut this ball on the side, cue ball to the end rail and back down towards the center of the table for the eight. And depending on which you're more comfortable with on how you want to get shape on the nine, Kevin's gonna probably come ar around the nine ball and shoot it in the same hole here. Just a little bit of center with some right hand English. And bounce off that second rail. There's, there's no reward for pocketing a ball here, so. Ooh, unless you can pocket that ball. That's a nice shot. He wants it to stop. Reward him for it. That was a nice shot Tony made there. Let's come off and hit the nine. Yeah, he was, want he was wanting to run into the nine there. Just bank the three up. Oh, you could, you could see it to cut it in. Four ball is the ball that's next. That's the one there on the rail by the side pocket. I'm just cut it up in the corner. Where the five ball is, everything here it goes into making the ball. 
and Tony's just barely undercut that ball, touched the rail on the way down, and on this table, a lot of times, uh, that won't go. Kevin's got it. He has to draw off of this. He can't go forward. If he goes forward, he probably scratches off of the four. Or off of the six. And he's come up short. May have to go uh, out of this upper left-hand corner pocket a couple of rails and back down table for the six. I don't think I would want to try and hold it. I'd go back and forth for the nine. And that's just what Kevin's done. And he might have gone too far. Yeah, if you're going to go back and forth, uh, this, you, know, it's, you don't stop on the way in. You stop on the way back. Now he's going to shoot this up in the corner. Once again, you know, if you put that corner pocket, you know, four feet up the table, that's an easy shot. And Kevin's left Tony straight in. Alrighty. May have to go track down a player, may not. got to move this nine ball. Yeah, you notice there how he didn't just pocket it and, you know, like a lot of, a lot of people will do that. They'll just shoot it into the hole, but when you do that, look, you know, look where it's going out there by the two ball. So he just put it on the rail and make it tougher. Well, for any kind of combination on it, you take it out of play for the most part. This is going to be, a, you know, this is going to be a complete rack. It looks like Tony might be looking at an attempt at a three foul, and that's not something I would do against Kevin. He could be playing the nine ball here off the side of the one. Nope. My Kevin's gonna jump this. 
He may kick straight at it, but yeah, he's going to kick it. It's too easy of a kick not to kick at it this time. He's pretty adept at this, so yeah, he was playing it. Almost made it. He's let Tony see the one, but uh, it's a tough shot. He's capable. And this is a, if you go for it, you're ju you just want to make the ball. Let the cue ball come back across table for a shot on the two. <laughs> now he's going to have to play a combination. And I think I like playing the eight. A lot of people would try the seven here, thinking it's more natural. But the, uh, the eight... Uh, everything was bigger. The getting a shot on the two ball afterwards, the eight ball going, uh, in my opinion. Oh, and I forgot to give Tony his score. We will definitely get that up there for him. There we go. Back and forth for the four. I'm just out for the four. The four's across the table. I thought it's the eight ball in front of the side pocket. <coughs> no, he wants to maintain angle. I think he may... I'm, I would probably draw this so that I can come out of the corner... Two rails out of the corner that you're shooting the four ball into with the five to get down table for the six. Take that seven, eight completely out of play, and he's pretty straight. Get straight in. <coughs> and it's a nice angle. Gotta just miss the nine ball. Yep. It's gonna just miss it. You wanna get under to the side rail. <coughs> Don't try to come up and behind it and get you know, just get to the side rail. <coughs> and this is just a, a kind of a stop shot. The cue ball drift off the seven a little bit. You can hit a little below center to control it. But it's basically just a stop shot. The cue ball drifts off of it for the eight up in the corner where he's standing. He held it up a little bit too much. It's gonna, the cue ball's going to be rolling towards a nine. May have to punch off of it and play the uh, other side of the nine ball if he can. He can shoot this with a little bit of English too. Oh. Yeah, he did. I think his cue ball was probably headed right at the nine. Over cheated the pocket, trying to create that angle. Maybe should have just pushed it forward some and taken the longer shot on it, but. Tony's gonna go a few rails around the table with this ball. Okay, he's going up and down. Oh, he's corner hooked him. Look at that. That is in that pocket. Deep. Deep. I don't know what it's holding it up. <laughs> that was a good hit. He's left Tony a uh, pretty... Pretty nice opportunity here. Stay in this match. I think it would be Tony's break next, too. Oh my goodness, that ball didn't fall. Wow. That is nuts. Kevin, 
Kevin plays a uh, shape off of balls hanging in the hole real nice. He understands the angles and everything. You can you know, hit a ball into you got a big ver variety there of places you can hit it into the hole to come off of the ball. And he understands that quite well. Okay. How do you get out of there? Just slide into it really hard and pray. Uh, yeah, you gotta hit. I'd, if I was gonna run into it, I'd have just hit it a million miles an hour and pray I get a shot. More likely to than that. Just rubbing it there. But that's, you know, each their own preference. And now he's in what our dear Annie would call a sticky wicket. Two rails out of the corner, straight at the three. Here's where I wish I had my telestrator. Two rails out of that top hand, just top right hand corner pocket, right at the three. I'm not going to stay here because the autofocus is on. going to come over here and he's going to shoot this two railer because it's the only shot that's there. The three ball is the biggest there. He's going to spin it and uh, he didn't spin it enough. Too much speed, didn't have time for the English to take or, you know, so it's either more English or less speed. <coughs> forward with this. He wants to come out around the, end up hitting the six full in the face. I think it might have been what he was attempting to do because he was straight in on the five there. Kevin may have to squeeze this four off or the thing off of the five. Yeah, if you were going to play it, you had to play it off of the five. I think he was just playing it safe. You can bank the ball back at you. You can bank it in the other corner. I like that angle. Is he going to make the six, too? Nope. He does have a shot on this five. It is the five, six, seven, eight, nine left on the table. Tony will play this five up down in this uh, 
right hand corner pocket. Oh, and he just barely missed it. The 8 9 is lined up for a uh, combination into the corner there. Once that 6 is gone, it's pretty much straight in. That nine ball for the match. And I'm sure we'll be seeing Tony a little bit later. He just never got started this one. And uh, I may be a few minutes before I have something. Stay tuned. We'll be back. <laughs> 